Fun. You really can't keep the aircon on 16. Okay, really? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Today is the first deep dive I'm doing here. So for the past two days I've just been kind of like stuffing around, doing some like long hangs at like 40 meters and some exhale dives but now i'm going to go out to the platform and do my first deep dive and it'll be 70 meters so make sure if you like this video guys you leave it a little thumbs up and uh, this is me getting ready for a dive this is no joke what adam listens to every time he gets ready for a dive <laughs> the same flower our world has been shaking on all right so we're at, here we are at uh, at near bali this is where i'll be training for the next two months and this is julia and ellie or elaine who are ellie. the owners of at near bali look at them look at them in their matching matching suits i mean guys what are, what are we going to do today go deep we're going to go deep say <laughs> So that's literally the 20 second drive from the dive center to the dive site. Because I'm not going to walk around in my stinking hot wetsuit. <laughs> if we don't see the diver, I will wait 45 seconds. After 45 seconds, I will do this sign. Okay? Normally we go five meters more to see if I see you. Yeah, I will do the sign. The sign, Ellie will pass up and this means that we're gonna drop the counter balance. Oh, is your world changing? Oh, what's your soul saying? First uh, deep dive on the platform, and uh, since we got to Bali, so we did 70 meters for my first dive. Felt very good. Um, the platform's nice, conditions are nice, people are nice. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow I'll do 80, and then have a bit of a day off or something, and then I'll come back and I'll do 90. So that's just how how I progress. So I just did my first uh, actual dive, like my first deep dive. My God, did it feel nice. <laughs> the epic thing is though, is that after I've done all these um, equalization experiments in the MRI machine, and I, I started teaching a new style of mouth fill, or of like deep equalization, but I haven't actually had the opportunity to really try it out for myself. And honestly, I have never in my life had such smooth, easy, comfortable equalization. It is phenomenal. Like. I feel like I've completely turned a page in my diving. Tomorrow's rest day, and I just chill out. Look at these guys working. <laughs> Look at them. Quick. <laughs> so our rest day is really not much of a rest day. We have jam-packed with activities. We woke up very early in the morning to go explore the Kubu wreck, which I think is the best wreck in Bali. 
It's about a five minute drive from Tulumban and it sits in about 20 to 30 meters of water. The wreck was only sunk in 2012, which means it's pretty much completely intact and has some incredible swim throughs. It was a Dutch built cargo ship and some of the cargo is still on board. The swim through that Wayne is going through right now is about 20 to 25 meters deep, so it's a pretty advanced dive. Take my time, far behind, leave my pride, oh is it alright if I stay? Is it alright if we just stay today? Right, cause I wish we could just stay. Check out time far behind. Yes, that is a VW right there. That's some of the cargo that was sitting in the hole. Stay. Is it all right if I? You can get some really strong currents on this wreck, but on this day, we got lucky. Anyway, time for the next activity. So we come to Bali all the time. Uh, we come to like to train, we come to, to teach deep weeks, but we have never actually been tourists in Bali. So we're here for such a long time just for my training. Um, so we're gonna be tourists. We're, gonna, it's, we're having a tourist day. We're going to waterfalls, we're going to hot springs. It's tourist day. One less ticket before it's gone. I'm actually really happy it's not hot today because I think this would have been pretty tough. It's like the whole way is just a really steady incline. But so far so good. I am always out of breath and I'm buggered. <laughs> this isn't fun. Oh baby, you're struggling. Yeah, it's hot and I'm tough. The trick killed her. That was hot. <laughs> Imagine if the sun was out today. That would have been. That would have been. We couldn't have done it. This waterfall better be incredible because that was an actual hike. So after what felt like an eternity of hiking, we finally made it to Les Waterfall. Now, I would recommend this waterfall for absolutely anyone who's not pregnant. <laughs> Dogs have had sex obviously and now they're stuck together. <laughs> Look at the poor things. Oh puppy. Are they gonna move together? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I have to get past them. The road we have decided to take to get to the hot springs is probably not the best road. Like it's <laughs> really steep and through like like mountainous little villages and mountainy areas. Like I think we were told not to come this way because it's only good for motorbikes, but here we are, and we're just giving it a go. <laughs> How? How did this truck get up here? I feel like I'm filming an impending car crash. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna beep around all the corners now. Awful. I'm so scared of heights and even just the feeling of going up steep hills. I hate it. So that was about this, an hour of torture. <laughs> look at this view. This is the lake, by the way. So we thought the hot springs were just going to be like, you know, some hot springs, but it's like a theme park. It's like getting in and there's pools everywhere and crazy stuff. Just come to a hot spring. It's uh, insane. I think both, both of us are imagining something like really natural and you go down and like enjoy this hot spring in this um, beautiful little field or something but it is... It's like a theme park! It's a theme park. Right there, check out the theme park. Literally, it's a theme park. Water slides. Water slides. Elephant.
guys, the verdict is, uh, if you're in Bali, do not come to the hot springs. <laughs> you know, like, um, there's just so many little jets in the pools that's spitting out hot water. Yes, yeah, so we don't actually so think it's real. it could just be hot water. Like, I could just run a hot tap and, and be like, hey, come to the hot springs, you know? <laughs> Alright, so after our uh, little rest day adventure, today I attempted to do 90 meters constant weight, so 90 meters for the monofin. 90 meters is a pretty cruisy diet for me, but uh, I, I tried to do a few new things, like I tried to work with my new equalization, and I tried to uh, free fall in a different position, and it turned out to be way too much, and I stuffed my equalization, and uh, I mean, I, I, could, I could keep equalizing down to the bottom, but I wanted to do it with my new method of equalizing. You know what I mean? So it was like that or nothing. Um, so I turned around at 75, came back up, and you know, it was all, all good, because I'll go again tomorrow. But then as the day kind of went on, uh, <laughs> started getting really like, like upset at how the equalization didn't work. I was like, oh my God, my new magic equalizing uh, like technique like failed. <laughs> And like, uh, I don't know, I just gotten really in my head about it, which is really weird because I usually don't care if I fail a dive or whatever. I just think I'd put in, I'd like place so much stock in this thing being amazing and, and all of a sudden being this like, like this, this wonderful technique and say, oh, well, it can fail or, you know, I can fail. I can mis-execute it or not execute it correctly. But I mean, I know what I did wrong. I just tried to do too many new things all at once. So anyway, today stuffed my dive diving again tomorrow. Anyway, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing here and turn on your notifications. Also check out this video because I think you'll like it. Or this video because I think it's pretty good too.